Hey everybody, welcome to this Xbox Life episode 504, titled Lots of Stuff. I'm Rob, one of your hosts with the most, also known as Presar, and with me I've got, as always, my good buddy Mark. Hey everybody. Here we go, we're live, take two today. And uh, <laughs> Streamlabs, you rock. Good job fixing your bugs, not anyway you can listen to listen to us live on twitch mixer and youtube on sundays normally starting at 11 p.m eastern sometimes a little bit later and uh as usual we are not affiliated with microsoft or the xbox in any way this is a show being done by fans for fans of the microsoft xbox the views and opinions expressed on the show do not necessarily re reflect those of microsoft did i do that as well as you did mark it was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't bumble or fumble or any, any of that. Yeah. No, this it was time. beautiful, man. Rock on. <laughs> so, um, Mark, uh, what have you been playing lately? Oh, so it's been two weeks. And I have, uh, I completed Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Um, went and did the, like, hundred percent of all the items in the game type oh. of completed i actually uh undid every area and got all the collectibles and all that stuff and completed the game i still have a couple achievements that every i want to do but i don't know i probably won't go after them but uh, uh because i'd have to do the new game plus or whatever so but uh did finish that finally wow um just i don't know it was all right uh, I've been playing some, right. uh, <laughs> it is all right. I, you know, I, I did do a lot of stuff in the game. Uh, it seemed to get, I kind of got into it once I was kind of bouncing around and I was just like, I got to the part where like a long time ago where I could go do the final mission, but I didn't. Cause I was like, well, there's all these other things. And I kind of wanted to get the collectibles and do all the tombs and do, you know, so I just focused on that and just kind of ran around doing that stuff. And sure. I got kind of into it, um, but uh, the game just was, it was okay. It wasn't that great. I think it was the worst of the three. Really? So. So it's even worse than the old, old original Tomb Raider, which was out on Xbox first? Uh, you mean the reboot? Yeah. No, I liked the reboot. No, but it was, that was worse a fun than game. That. I mean... So, like, an older game, let's say the first generation is better than the third than the third generation. I just mean for, like, the story. They, this one uh, just, yeah. I don't know. There was something about this I just didn't really, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's just because it feels like it's more the same. Uh, and I think that might be the issue where it's just, like, you know, kind of like Forza or uncharted or you know even the last uncharted i was just like oh this is so boring and people are like oh it's so great i'm like no it's not it's the same thing over and over and over and i think that's really what it was with shadow of the tomb raider for me just okay the same thing that i've already done time and time again um and then you have like these tools and like the the rope pulley which you use like one time in the entire game like what was the point of that you know it's it, you get all these okay. weapons but you really don't need them you know there it, it's it's is it, just, is it and all is it the stuff's too optional like for example i use the bow and arrow for everything so technically for right. me all the guns are optional <laughs> right and that that is and, it's just like you know i don't know it's just didn't I guess I would rather them just take a hiatus or maybe do something new with the game or, you know, um, it just feels too samey. Yeah. But. And, and, and you know what? I, I totally understand what you're saying because I had a huge bout of this with the original Tomb Raiders, like Tomb Raider, the original that came out, I played it on, on the PS1. It was maybe PC. I don't remember, but you know, it was mid nineties approximately when it came out. It was fantastic. It was great. You know, you're pushing the blocks around. She's running, jumping, doing the ledges and stuff like that. And then every subsequent yeah. game kind of just went nuts with it. You, you know what I mean? It just sort of, you know, it's like the puzzles, I'll call them puzzles, 
you know, they were more obscure. They were harder to do. They yeah. weren't as obvious. And it's definitely evident that that's who they tried to appeal to. And then, you know, if you weren't totally into that, then the game suffered. And I could see yeah. it kind of going that way. Yeah. And I just liked, I think out of the three, I liked the first one the best, probably. Um, but yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I hear that. I, and it's hard to say it's samey when I tell you the next game I played <laughs> nah. Call of Duty Black Ops 4. <laughs> not um, same talk about, about samey. <laughs> um, I've been playing a lot of the multiplayer and I'm really enjoying it. And well, which um, multiplayer? The multiplayer. Okay. Not the zombies and not Blackout. Okay. Multiplayer. Typical Call of Duty. Right. And I really enjoy it. I I like it a lot. But I've always enjoyed that. It's just I'm not. I've just gotten worse at it over the years. And uh, but I still really enjoy the game. It's just fun to jump in and play that. So I've been playing some of that. I also uh, played Strange Brigade because their second DLC came out. So oh, wow. uh, okay. Comrade ninety two and I went through that. Um, so that game's a hundred percent again, and we just completed up Far Cry Five. Um, just before we started, uh, a little bit before the show started, uh, she completed her new game plus on insane mode or whatever it is, and I was in there with her, helping her, and she was the only one to get the achievement. It's like thank you, Ubisoft. Thanks for nothing. Only the host gets that freaking achievement so she's 100 percent, and that's the one i have left oh how do you feel about going through that again i don't want to yeah i don't want to do it i don't i'm really irritated over this it's one left one achievement left so i will probably grind my way through it Ugh. but i'm not happy about it just uninstall the game I, I tempted. <laughs> I was going to uninstall it tonight if the achievement popped for both of us, but she was the only one that got it, which is ridiculous in a co-op game. That's rude. Yeah, I, I really, in the last, we finally completed the last DLC, the zombie one, which was just terrible, horrible, horrible, horrible garbage. Um, it really soured this game for me and then they yeah. added this new those one last achievement where you got to replay the entire game it just really soured me i i'm pretty much done with far cry at this point um this has just been it was a good game and then they just kind of ruined it with this last dlc and then this last achievement they threw in um and then with the achievements so many of them being host only it's like why it's a co-op game it doesn't make sense so Oh, well, it is what it is. Um, and then I did play some Red Dead Redemption 2. <sighs> so I'm going to just give some thoughts on this. I am in Chapter 2. I haven't played a lot of it because, to be honest, I have no desire to play this game. Really? Um, here's been my experience. And I know everybody's like, oh, it's the greatest thing ever. Um it's yeah it probably is it's just not for me um i love the first game but this one is wow it started out so slow um that it was just like oh my gosh this is boring um i found this game to have way too many button options at one point it would tell me to hit x to pick up an item oh, and then yeah. later it would tell me to hit rb to pick up an item it's like which Why is, is picking up an item a different button depending on what you're picking up? Or why does it change? It doesn't make any sense. Like picking up something off the ground. Most of the time it's X. And then one time Correct, it said yeah. hit RB to pick up my hat off the ground. The next time it said pick oh, yeah. X to pick your hat No, no, hat no. Off the it was, wasn't it, uh, wasn't it RB to pick up the gun and then X to pick up the hat? I think it was the other way around. Because I think it was the so weapon. Why? I don't know. Even I, that doesn't make any sense. I noticed that as it, well. 
hit hit X to pick up something. Why would you hit RB to pick something up? It, it it's it should be one freaking button to pick up an item. Hey, and I I know picking stuff up is your pet peeve because that was your pet peeve with <laughs> Wolfenstein, wasn't it? Wolfenstein, yes. <laughs> no, but you know if you're gonna make me pick something up, at least let it be the same freaking button every yeah. time. Uh -huh. You know, come on. Uh, the shooting is really hard in this game. Um, uh, and yeah. I can't figure out how to use dead eye. Dead eye used to allow, and maybe it does, but it's not doing it for me now. Um, dead eye used to allow you to like slow mo and then go over like three or four people and then hit your trigger and you know you'd shoot them all. Yeah. Oh, I can only shoot one guy in dead eye for some reason. Yeah, uh, I, I had the same thing. So it's like, what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um the brawling is terrible i think the, the 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 brawling in this game is so bad i think everything's too slow because all the animations have to go so it's like you're like brawling slowly it's like you, it's not a button masher you gotta it's, it just doesn't seem to work very well um i had to play a poker game and oh my gosh i just wanted to sh blow my brains out it was so boring um I hope I never have to do that again. Uh, weapon and item selection, I think, is painful. Um, and, yeah, oh, it's yeah. just... <laughs> yeah, like how you, how you have to, like... What was it? Like, you hold the left bu left bumper button, and then you hit the right one and I, I i was really confused initially about like choosing between like my pistol and the rifle and and all that you, you know what i'm talking about yeah it's yeah like, there was you to, yeah you have to go into the screen then you have to like hit the other thing and then then you go into this other screen <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's it's and then yeah and then like some stuff's on your horse some stuff is not and, oh my gosh it's just insane yeah so but anyways it's just um i will say so those are the kind of the negative things that i have on it um otherwise like it, it the game looks amazing it, it there's no doubt about it it's it's a beautiful game and you play nice? the story and the characters are just like wow <laughs> like you know um it does draw you in it really does yeah but there are things in this game that's like like you're trying to go to a mission and there's so many side things that are happening like i mean people just come after me and shoot me i don't even know why um it's like I've, real life isn't it <laughs> yeah um i've had you know oh help me help me and you go to help someone and and it's like, oh, well, now can you take me home? It's like in a like 80 miles in the opposite direction. I was like, wait a minute, you know, oh, and or you go to do something and it's like, oh, you're getting robbed. And or gosh forbid, if you accidentally bump somebody because now it's an assault and you get a bounty on your head for it, like <laughs> you better not you better like creep through the city streets. I'll tell you that or even out on the open road. And then if you ever get into an altercation with somebody, for some reason, even when you're out in the middle of nowhere, there's always somebody there to see you and go, I'm going to report you. And then you got to chase them down and shoot them dead. And then, oh, well, there just happened no to be someone standing out in the middle of nowhere seeing that murder. You know, they're going to report. Leave no It's traces. just like, really? It's just, it's, that that just kind of makes me scratch my head going, what? Um, so it's annoying. It's annoying. <laughs> yes but yeah but anywho um did, you play so, anything else or... did i play anything else let yeah. me look back at my list um so that's it for red dead i i'm just i'm having a hard time getting back to it um i probably will at some point and then i'll forget how to pick up an item <laughs> I'll hit all the wrong buttons. Um, but I, I think that's pretty much it. You, you know, uh, you know what was funny played. was, so I, I played this morning and then I played 
I don't know, late afternoon. And I couldn't remember the buttons just like a couple, <laughs> a couple hours later. <laughs> just because it's so unusual. It's, it does seem like a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, Okay, so is that but it? That's it. That's it. Yeah. And just an FYI, for some reason, we are not streaming on YouTube, but move on. We'll yeah. we'll get the show up there later. I think that happened last time. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so uh I played uh a lot of Fortnite Save the World. Uh Fortnite Mares started, I don't know, a week and a half ago, something like that, just before Halloween. And uh the Battle Royale went through today. It ended today. And that one was a little nutty because um, if you've been following the whole Fortnite thing, there's this cube that's like going around the Battle Royale map and it's leaving marks on the ground. It's ripping stuff out of the ground. It's making these little bouncy things for, for, for the Fortnite mares. Yeah. Or there were these like uh, rocks, the cube rocks. I forgot what they're called, but all these monsters would come out of it and they chase you in the single player mode and and you get benefits and you know they they leave loot behind when you shoot them so it was, it was kind of interesting and then today was the end of the battle royale for nightmares and it ended kind of crazy i did not um see this firsthand but uh, i saw some videos afterwards where the cube exploded and then this is pretty sweet. Uh, if, if, if you get a chance, check out the video of this thing. Basically, um, in, in these videos, everybody's kind of like floating around waiting to see what's going to happen because it happened at on noon central today. And they were just waiting there to see what would happen. The thing explodes. The whole screen goes white. And then there's this like little floating fairy looking thing that comes over and it like lands on your fingers. So everybody saw their character, but this thing lands on their finger. It's looked kind of like uh Navi from the Zelda games. The little look, watch out. Do you ever <laughs> play those? You know what I'm talking about? Nope. Hey, listen. Anyway. I so, don't, I never played Zelda. Okay. So, <laughs> so, um, after that, you like warp through this gate and now you're falling and then the whole map is a little bit different. And um, the, then the insanity ensued and everybody killed each other. And then somebody got a victory royale. But uh, it was interesting. I, I really love how they're changing up the map all the time. There's stuff that's happening. There's some loose storyline. It's very much like Lost, really. <laughs> stuff doesn't really make sense, but it's just happening. But... Uh, yeah, that happens today. And then Save the World, the Fortnite Mares is going on for quite a while longer. I think it's going to last uh, a couple more weeks. But uh, it's just interesting how, you know, in both Battle Royale and, and Save the World, they're just actively changing things, adding things. And it's it makes the game, uh, which can be very samey, but it makes it interesting enough where oh, yeah. you can just you know, get over that and, and still have a good time. Like I actually thought that the save the world thing was going to end at noon today. So I was kind of freaking out yesterday and today I was like trying to get all these missions in and uh -huh. uh, needless to say that was for nothing because I've still got more time on it, but um, it did make me <laughs> pretty darn good at save the world <laughs> playing uh -huh. all those mission after mission after mission. And then that little robot Ray, you know, what I'm talking about the one that talks at, sort of like the yeah. narrator and stuff which is hilarious yep. i i i i actually want to i want to see who does this voice it's like who who is this person that uh is just so silly and and funny and and uh you know the the epic team did a great job um uh, just having a narrator that guides you along that's a little funny and uh great job there epic but uh yeah more uh, fortnite save the world my future and um one thing that was kind of interesting was so my son really loves uh uh, uh battle royale and he plays it a lot on his uh switch and he just recently 
got a um he got an there's a one of the streamers that is probably one of the, the most popular for Fortnite Battle Royale is Ninja and he got his autograph just recently so that was pretty cool little guy was so excited just thought I would mention that hmm. but uh, anyway beyond that I, I did some um Shadow of the Tomb Raider and you know I I totally agree with what you're saying Mark it you know it is it's cool but not as awesome as previous games and it just i think this whole story that they're perpetuating is same story just a different place you know what i mean yeah so and then in all the tombs i mean they're just puzzles and it's almost like mechanical. You're just going through and it's like, okay, where do I need to go? And I think the the sense of wonders, the sense of coolness is basically gone uh, from the game. But, I mean, it still looks good. It's still Lara Croft, Tomb Raider goodness, but just there there is something lacking. And then I also got some uh, time in with uh, Red Dead Redemption and... I didn't play on my X. I, I played on my S. Um, and it wasn't even HDR. It was just, I was playing on my computer monitor. I finally got my S set up after my move. And uh, there's a whole another story about that, which... Uh, Mark, do you have a, a rant today? I do not. Okay, I have a rant today. <laughs> so I will discuss more about my whole S situation. But... Um, you know, I the game looks great just on a regular Xbox, on a regular display at, you know, 1080, 1080p. And I can just imagine, I mean, I need to fire it up on my X just to see the how good it looks on there. But, uh, you know, it's very cinematic, very much draws you in. Ambience is really good. Um you know, very much the, at least I get the whole Westworld vibe <laughs> from it. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm Teddy. I'm playing Teddy. Where's <laughs> Dolores? You know? But, yeah. um, it's, like so like the first one, the Red Dead Redemption was good. I, I, I enjoyed it. I don't know if it was great from the standpoint of i really don't like the horses and the horses in this one it's i I don't know it just don't forget you gotta feed it and wash it and brush it and oh my gosh are you kidding me yeah it it's that's another thing. It's like oh, you gotta bathe yourself and shave your beard and pet your horse and brush your horse and feed your horse and bathe your horse. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like oh, and make sure you eat and make you know. It's just like it's like too much like real life. I'm like I'm I gotta do all that crap in real life. I don't <laughs> I don't want to go and play it. Do it in a video game. But the thing is, you in know? real life, you do it less than you do in the game, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, maybe. <laughs> a couple times a day. I don't have to do it every five seconds. I know. <laughs> no, like in right in the beginning of the game where you're you're in the, the snow area, right? You're you're that one dude like went off on his own and he got lost. Right? Was was that like one of the first missions, maybe? Yep. Yeah. So the dude went off, you go to rescue him, and it's like, I'm walking, we're trying to find him. So we got out the horses, we're trying to find him. And then it's like, I ran out of energy. I'm like, yep. what? I'm, I'm like walking, I'm walking, I'm like ducked down. I ran out of energy. Then the dude <laughs> gives me some whiskey, and I'm like, oh, I'm much better. What? <laughs> Give me a power bar or something, not whiskey. <laughs> I think it was what bourbon or whatever. It's like something. It was some kind of alcohol. Yeah. But it's the wild west. Yeah. <laughs> Give me some beef jerky then or, or some beans. 
<laughs> one of those. But yeah. uh yeah, I mean the the game's interesting and it really makes me want to see Westworld now. I wish it would continue <laughs> it. It's, I know it's gonna be what, like a year before we get the next season. Some, um, I didn't even I didn't even finish I I think I watched one episode of season two and that was it. And I was just yeah. like Gosh, it's this okay. is terrible. It was okay. It's better than Walking Dead. Oh. I haven't I I think I'm a whole season behind on that too. Yeah. Walking so. Dead is this is, I think we're like four or five episodes in and Rick is supposed to die or something. Spoiler, sorry. Yeah, I I heard that well they're advertising it's his last season, so Yeah. So I I watched the last show. From last hey, don't talk week. about it because I think I'm a no. whole season behind. Yeah. Okay. They're sitting on my DVR. I just haven't. I've been stuck on some other shows that I've been hooked hooked on. So there's only so much you can do, I guess. But anyway, that's right. So, uh, yeah, Red Dead Redemption, and then um, I think that was about it. All righty. So, um. Where are we here? So uh, you can support us on Patreon by going to thisxboxlife.com forward slash Patreon. Uh, or you can also leave us a tip at thisxboxlife.com forward slash donate. And don't forget to subscribe to us on Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube. So those are all great ways that you can support the show. So you want to take these first couple? Right. Sure. Topics? So... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so Xbox Game Pass got some new games added uh, that were kind of spooky games. Uh, this was all for Halloween. Um, sorry, this was supposed to be reported to you guys last week. Um, but some of the things that have went in is Hello Neighbor, Observer, Outlast, and Dead Island Riptide, the Definitive Edition. Uh, these are all in... Uh, game pass now and i actually want to check out hello neighbor yeah i haven't done it yet but this is one i do think i want to check out and i know there's a sequel or uh, a new hello neighbor game um uh, i don't know if it's a sequel or if it's like additional content but that was just released or they just talked about that going available for pre-order so but uh yep i know so those are available on game pass i know a lot of the or actually a bunch of the streamers at my son watches, they they do Hello Neighbor. And I figure if the streamers do it, it there must be something to the game. Yeah. Something interesting. Uh, so sticking with the holidays, um, there's a bunch of different Xbox bundles and controllers and subscriptions that are available. Um, so just... I, I, I I'll hear. I'll just kind of run through some of the bundles. So there's been, and uh, there's um, let's see. All of these are X. So these will be the Xbox One X bundles, and uh, every one of these are five hundred dollars US, four ninety nine ninety nine. So there's the NBA Two K nineteen bundle, the Forza Horizon Four bundle, PUBG's, uh, you know, Player Notes Battlegrounds. There's Battlefield Five. Uh, there's a Oh, wait a minute. Xbox One, there's a Gold Rush Special Edition Battlefield 5 bundle mm -hmm. and the Battlefield 5 bundle. Um, so there's two different ones there. The Gold Rush one features a one terabyte hard drive and Xbox wireless controller, copy of the deluxe edition of the game, also a copy of Battlefield 1943 and Battlefield 1 Revolution, one month EA Access, one month Xbox Game Pass trial and 14-day trial gold. Now for the same amount of money, you can get the Battlefield 5 edition, which is a one terabyte hard drive, an Xbox wireless controller, a copy of digital game, copy of Battlefield 943, and these look to be the same. What yeah, am I, I missing? I, they look the same to me. <laughs> I was just wondering what the difference was. I don't know. It's got Gold be Rush the... Special Edition. I. It doesn't say that it has anything different in it. So I don't know. Whatever. Uh, there's a Fallout 76 White. It's a Robot White Xbox One X um, Fallout 76 bundle, then a regular Fallout 76 bundle, and then a Shadow of the Tomb Raider bundle. And then, of course, the S, 
Looks like they have ever, all those as well as Fortnite, Minecraft, Creators Bundle, and the Xbox One S Starter Bundle. And then, of course, a ton of custom controllers and just, I'm not going to go through all of those, but there is a lot of stuff, a lot of options for you guys, including around a Game Pass and Xbox Live Gold and stuff. So keep your eyes open for the specials going on this holiday. Yeah, the, um, also, the Gold, the Gold Rush one has some kind of like gradient coloring where it's lighter on the left and it's dark on the right. Oh, on the box itself? Yeah, on the console. So it's sure. not a, um, you know, generic black or white console. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the same price. You might as well get the, try to find that one. Um, as for Battlefield 5's Battle Royale mode, this is not going to come until spring of 2019. So oh, wow. when the game does ship on, what if the game comes out on, I think, November 20th, um, the Battle Royale mode called Firestorm will not launch until March of 2019. Um, At best, probably. Do what? At best, because what, spring? That starts in late March and it goes until late June. Yeah, it could it could be more like summertime. Yeah. So, but uh, let's see. They're gonna put this says it puts players into sixteen teams of four, um, in that mode. So, but we'll see. Um, did you see the video that they had of the different maps? No, I did not. For Battlefield I have not. Five, it looks amazing. Yeah, the game does look good. Oh. Um. Okay, next one I've got Xbox Game Pass is coming to PC. Um, this is good news. So, uh, Microsoft's going to bring the popular unlimited access subscription service uh, to the PC in the future. This was reported by Game Informer. Uh, via Windows Central, actually. Uh, Microsoft Satya Nadella revealed the news in a fiscal year 2019 Q1 earnings call. Uh, no details were given on how this will make its way to the PC, but it's solid But the Game Pass will be used in conjunction with the Microsoft Store. Uh, so looks like, uh, you know, Game Pass is going to be available on your PC. So if you don't have an Xbox, now you can still play Xbox games on your PC. And if you, maybe if you're a console gamer, maybe this gives you another option to play some of the stuff on the PC. Um, mm -hmm. So, kind of cool. So we'll give you more details as that comes to fruition. Okay, okay. and... It's the uh, next couple of years here, Yeah, yeah. So, one thing that they added years ago was the ability to watch over the air TV. Remember how initially, was that even maybe on the 360 where you, you could plug yeah. in that tuner? into the yep. console and then get uh, over the air TV. So they've done a bunch of things to allow people to watch TV over the years. And lo and behold, they're starting to pull them out little by little. And uh, the latest thing to go is USB TV streaming. And uh, that's a feature that looks like it's going to be removed from iOS and Android Xbox apps. So it's a feature that basically let people watch TV on their, you know, phones or tablets or whatever. Uh, it basically gets streamed from the Xbox. And uh, there were messages that went out to people recently that said, you may have streamed TV content using a USB TV tuner from your Xbox console to the Xbox app in 30 days the Xbox app will no longer support this functionality. You will still be able to watch TV content on your Xbox One console via streaming to the Xbox app on Windows 10. So no news as to what happened with this, but it yeah. looks like uh, it's another thing that, uh, another feature that's going to be disappearing. But personally, I don't know anybody that used this. Did you, did you ever do this, Mark? No, no. I bet nope. it was. I bet it was such a limited use case feature that they decided to stop development on it and just pull it out. 
But <laughs> Could be. Yeah. But bye bye to that feature. And then, all right. I think this one was yours. Um, so Next Microsoft one. recently, um, this past week, uh, there was a, a new story about uh, some recently released research papers from Microsoft, and it looks like they're making an adjustable Xbox style grip controller that you would use on your mobile, like your smartphones and tablets. Uh, this is reported by Windows Central, and they have the documents have just been released. And though it appears the research itself was conducted back in 2012 to 2014, the key design goals for this mobile controller to combine a compact and convenient to carry form factor with ease of use, control and comfort of a traditional controller by using two hinged clip-on controller fragments that attach to the bezel of a mobile device. So um, this kind of cool, kind of like this idea, uh, would maybe make mo uh, gaming on a mobile device a lot easier as that's all part of Microsoft's future here is to be able to play your games on any device so and this is More console style. style gaming not just your typical you know tablet right. phone touch swipe gaming right so you could play like you know red dead redemption on your phone right yeah, yeah. you know you'd have the controller basically the controls and the buttons to be able to play it or a shooter or something like that would make things uh, mobile games a lot easier like real games on a mobile device yeah so the one weird uh, thing, the one weird thing about this though is that from what they show it looks like these there's like a left and a right it's sort of, kind of like joy cons on the switch uh -huh. sort of you know but they're they're more like an xbox controller sort of as well but it looks like they can attach to the mobile device but they're covering the screen. Why would you want that? Do you know what I'm saying? Why would you want this thing to latch? <laughs> or imagine twisting it while you're playing. And you I don't know. I, we got to see what it really is going to be like when it yeah. comes out. You know, I would. So. I, I just don't know why they don't work to make like Xbox controllers function with the mobile well, devices properly. I, I think that we probably will see that because, you know, the controllers are now Bluetooth. Yeah. So. I think latency, but, I'm sure, is a concern as well. Yeah. But. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Game Pass for November. Uh, There's some new games that have been added uh, in November. So uh, let's see where these all November. Okay. And, so and this is in addition first... to the scary ones, right? Yes. Yes. Those were those were released prior to October, uh, Halloween. Mm -hmm. So as of November first, you can get Sniper Elite Four. Awesome game! <laughs> I'm jealous. Like that. I'm like, what? Sniper Elite Four is in Game Pass. This game is so freaking good that it, uh, it just. If you have Game Pass and you haven't played Sniper Elite Four, get it. It's awesome. Also, Ali Ali Two XL Edition, Sheltered. Uh, Rise and Shine, and then on November 6th, Grip Combat Racing will be uh, added to the Game Pass on that day. There's some more stuff for November. And I do believe that I thought I saw somewhere that that, um, that EXO event, isn't that taking place in November down in Mexico? Hmm. I think they were going to announce more so. stuff at that event for Game Pass. But don't quote me on it. I could be wrong. But oh, I, that's no. what I thought. I saw an article. I thought I was going to talk about it in here. I guess not. But uh, I saw an article uh, somewhere that said that the next Xbox Insider is just going to have tons of, like, information in it and probably releases and stuff like that and i imagine that's the one that's it because that's going to take place during that xo event yeah and i think it's in november so i'll have to double check on that yeah, I'll look all up. right moving on titanfall 3 and star wars jedi fallen order could both be out by late 2019 so we're potentially just a year away from both of those games 
Uh, these are both being made by Respawn Entertainment. Uh, these uh, Titanfall two, Titanfall one was great. Titanfall two is even I thought was even better. Um, I, I really love Titanfall, such a great game. I'm really looking forward to Titanfall three, and then of course Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, um, being made by Respawn. I can't wait to see what they do with that game. Um, a Star Wars game by those guys. Oh, I'm excited for that. So. Maybe by next year, uh, by by holiday of next year, uh, we will have both of those games playable. So hope hope that happens. Um, if you are like me and excited for Just Cause 4 coming out in December, um, they just announced their Expansion Pass DLC. Um, I, with, uh, I bought the Expansion Pass um, for the Just Cause 3, and it was three pretty good um expansions that they put out so what for for this one uh purchasing the expansion pass will give you access to all three planned content packs and you can also gain access to them by purchasing the game's gold edition as a bonus the gold edition in the digital deluxe package will let you play the main main just cause four game a day early and access to all three expansions a week early the first pack included in the past is Daredevils, which is expected to arrive in early 2019. It will focus on death races and rampage rallies, according to the announcement, and it will task a protagonist, Rico, with defeating gangs across new open-world solace. Next up is Demons, which takes the game in a supernatural direction as an ancient demonic force appears in solace. And then rounding out the expansion pass is Danger, a science fiction themed pack that sees Rico battling the agency who makes use of high tech gadgets and weaponry. So uh, this game launches on December 4th. And um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to this. I do plan to buy this. I've really enjoyed the Just Cause games in the past. So looking forward to that as well. Then I got just a couple more quick mm -hmm. items uh, Diablo um, Immortal. Um, mm. is actually a new game coming to mobile devices. Yeah. So this um, this is a spinoff. It's going to allow a number of players to fight together with six familiar classes, Barbarian, the Monk, the Wizard, Crusader, Demon Hunter, and Necromancer. Uh, Immortal takes place after the events of Diablo 2, Lord of Destruction, and before Diablo 3, introducing new abilities, new zones, new enemies, and new dungeons to the Diablo universe. Uh, you can pre-register to be involved in the beta tests and receive exclusive in-game items by heading to their official site. So, uh, yeah, apparently yeah. people are all up in arms over this thing. There's a lot of hate going around. I guess people are upset um, that it's a mobile game. Yeah, I, I, it doesn't throw me much. Yeah, and and plus, wasn't everybody kind of expecting to hear about Diablo Four? <laughs> yes <laughs> they they pulled like uh what was that uh, command and conquer game that came out recently <laughs> rivals or something yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that that looks terrible <laughs> i can't imagine playing it's... a diablo game on my phone yeah you know it just seems like it would not play well maybe you can play it on a it. surface <laughs> like a huge screen but yeah not like, not like a little guy no and how are you going to control it how are you gonna use your your health and your your all your different? I don't know. Maybe they'll have buttons on there when it's charged up. You just tap it on the screen, but that's gonna take up real estate. And, yeah, it'll it'll do that. Think. So, like on my phone, when I play those games that use the on-screen joystick in the like lower left, right? Half the time it stops responding. Yeah, and you know, then you have to like lift, press down again, and move again. <laughs> I, I can just imagine the fits of rage <laughs> <laughs> that you have, um, like when that happens in Diablo when yeah, you're fighting be, the necromancer. It'll be interesting. So, but yeah. anyways, um, Destiny Two on PC is available right now as a free gift this month. Um, the PC version of Destiny 2 uh, is available on Blizzard's Battle.net service. Mm -hmm. This will be available as a gift from November 2nd through November 18th, and you get to keep the game for, it's free. It's not yep. playable during that time frame. It'll be free going forward. Um, so that's kind of cool. 
And I, uh, I just snagged this today. And they pulled, like, do you remember Real Audio from years ago? Yeah. Remember, like, you know, you can go to their website and download their client if you could find it. Yeah. And it was all like, you know, buy this one, buy this one, buy this one. A teeny tiny little link, free version. Yeah. And Is that what uh, they did? Well, so, so I actually did a Google search how to find it. <laughs> so I, I loaded, I went up on their website and they had Destiny 2 Forsaken for sale. And I think that, oh, there's like two versions, I think a $39 and $59 one. Yeah. So, you know, everywhere you went, you saw those two versions. So, um, I, I had to reinstall the Battle.net client and I went in there. I'm like, okay, I need the Battle client, Battle.net client. So it must be in there. I'm looking in there, I see Forsaken and I see the other one. And they totally hit it. You cannot find it. It's not in the store. You have to find like this little banner that says Destiny 2 is free. So what they're doing is they're giving you the original version that came right. out what a year or two ago they're right. giving you that they're not giving you anything new right yeah and it's it's hidden. the base so game it's the base game and it's really annoying that it's not in the store and yeah but if if you pay attention to the banners and stuff like that in the battle net client you'll find it in there you will be you are required to enable blizzard sms protection before you're allowed to redeem the game so we'll have to do that as well all right the last yep. thing that i've got is that i wanted to thought this was pretty cool you know there's there's no games on xbox right that's right sony None. has them all right yeah that's right well microsoft is celebrating the 1000th id at xbox game title um they announced that they now have over 1,000 games via the ID at Xbox game. Program. That's an addition to AAA, and that's an addition. These are just yeah. these are the indie developers. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool. That's a lot of games out there. Sure, I'm sure a bunch of them are garbage, but hey, you know they might have <laughs> been made by someone like me, who's just a one man shop who just wants to learn and make a game. So. But there's been a lot of really good stuff that is in this, like Cuphead and Tacoma Inside. Well, I wouldn't say that was a good game, but <laughs> mm. it, it definitely had that triple it was, game. It was good for you know, like feel. the first half. <laughs> Stardew Valley, you know, there there's uh, a lot of stuff in there. Um, they mentioned Below, which I don't think that's out yet. No, it's not. <laughs> a Black Desert, which isn't out yet, but they're starting to do i've been getting uh i got a thing about getting into the beta um so there's um a lot of stuff out there so i've been a lot of good games out there too so this is pretty cool i i thought this was really neat um they've had four billion hours of played these id at xbox games over a billion dollars in revenue wow uh let's see if i can make this a little bigger three thousand plus studios currently are making games uh, four billion gamer score have been done. A thousand, a thousand game releases. Uh, sixteen hundred games are in active development. Uh, twenty nine wow. Xbox game preview games released, in sixty seven countries across the globe. Wow! So this has been a this is big. This is far reaching. This program that's pretty cool. And yeah, Cuphead was an awesome game, and that is an idea at Xbox title. So cool stuff congratulations to microsoft in that program oh yeah yeah that Good. is all that i have yeah so going back to um the xo thing uh so yes. it is in mexico city like what we had mentioned and it's this weekend <laughs> it's coming this coming weekend so oh, okay, it's cool. on november 10th and 11th okay cool so uh looks like they're gonna be uh streaming that uh on uh, saturday and sunday so coverage streams on mixer from november 10th through 11th xbox or inside xbox runs 
from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Oh, wow. The time zone is DF slash CT. I imagine that's central. I'm not sure what DF is. Maybe that's like the Mexico <laughs> time zone or something like that. So that's on Saturday. And then, um, yeah, they announced again that it's going to be the biggest inside xbox ever whatever that means cool so that's uh it's a nice surprise <laughs> it's this weekend <laughs> then uh, i had one last thing so uh for people that like those um you know digital card games like hearthstone and magic and all those there's another one that I don't think quite has the popularity of some of these, uh, some of these games, but uh, it's called Eternal, and it's by Dire Wolf Digital, which makes some pretty good stuff. And uh, the game's already out on Steam, iOS, Android, and now it's going to be coming out to Xbox One pretty soon. And it's one of those, you know, it's uh, you know free to play. And uh, it'll be released uh, sometime this month in November. We don't quite have a release date, but, uh, you know, the game's pretty good. You know, follows the lines of Hearthstone, what, Fable, Eternal? You know, whatever the Fable game is. Um, not quite like Gwent, but um, there's that... Uh, Elder Scrolls, Legends, you know, it's it's along those okay. lines. If you like any of those, you'll probably like this as well. And that's it. All right. So it is time. <laughs> and I will cue the Muzak. Today on this Xbox Live. some major strife yeah one man's got 709 webs today is just a start get ready for this round all right there's a rant coming and it's not from mark it's from me <laughs> so I talked about it a couple weeks ago, and there was that deal from GameStop where you could trade in Xboxes and get an X. So, yeah, I was going back and forth about this thing, and, and then I decided, you know what? I've got my original Xbox, and I've got my S. And, you know, I've only got, like, two places. and So I've got the original, the S, and the X. So I have three consoles, I've only got two places to play them uh, at my desk and then at the 4K TV downstairs. And so that's home of the X, of course. So I'm like, you know what? They're doing this crazy deal where you can get $200 for the original, $250 for the S. I'm like, you know what? I can trade both of my systems in. And I found out online that this does work because the promo was. 200 for an original, or then you can get an S, a 250 for an S, or 300 for a PS4 Pro, I think. And okay. as long as it wasn't in the same class, you could take advantage. So you couldn't do two S's, but you could do an original and an S, or an original and a PlayStation, for example. Okay. So I'm like, you know what? If I can get $450... And GameStop, I saw, had sales. And there was that whole Red Dead Redemption promotion as well. Where, right. You know, where it was Red Dead. And if you bought a console with Red Dead, you got $100 off. And then I was looking online, and they had that robotic white console that had, was like the Fallout console. And then you could get right. Red Dead with it. And it was going to be like four ninety nine if I got the ultimate Red Dead. I could get what four fifty nine. I think was the regular version, 
So I'm like, you know, this is great. You know, basically for 10 bucks plus tax, I could get another X. And for me, I was looking at it from the standpoint of more like not future proofing, but, you know, instead of having an older console, I've got the new X version. Right. So I had it, you know, just in case. So I talked to my son about it. He was all excited. You know, I let him know what I, what the plans were. So he was all excited. You know, we got to go. So, you know, I read the stuff online. You had to go and you had to collect everything. You had to, you know, give him an HDMI cable. You had to give him power cable. You, had, you know, that console had to work. So right. a lot of my stuff was still boxed up still. So we found everything, went through, up. we had to update the consoles and wipe them and went through the whole thing like one afternoon and got them all ready. We went over to GameStop and, you know, we're greeted, you know, by the cheery guy over there. And um, this reminded me of why I don't shop at GameStop ever. <laughs> so I have never traded in anything over there. And my experience over there was bait and switch city it was i mean ultimately i guess this is a spoiler we walked out with nothing actually nothing new because what right. wound up happening is that you know hey i'm looking to trade in my consoles oh great you know what do you got over there oh sorry to tell you you know, it's a special deal. It's only for a special console. Let me see what, you know, who has it. Oh, the closest one's like 25 miles away. And, you know, but I can cut you a special deal. So they were going to give me 125 bucks for my old one, for my original one, and 150 for the S. So basically I was going to get what? Two, no. Yeah, 275 instead of, 450 it's a little bit of a discrepancy in, in pricing there, <laughs> yeah you, you know a little bit yeah and then it was just it was going to be for a regular one you know but oh wait you know you know you know I'll, I'll do this for you and i'll give you you know you can get like um you know one of the non-generic ones and you know my son was all kind of like you know what's going on and and ultimately, I'm like, you know what? Um, you know, thanks for your time. We're just, we're going to go. And, and we yeah. left. And you know what? The thing is that I, the experience really reminded me, again, of why I don't like to shop at places like that, why I don't like to deal with salespeople, even though I was a salesperson. At one time, I mean, both you and I were, Mark. Yep. But the, you know, the thing is, like, we weren't that type of salesman. No, it's very, we were the kind of person we'd want to deal with. That's right. That's the difference. Yeah, I mean, this was very much like used car salesman. Yeah, and you know, I, I'm surprised I didn't get taken. You know, you know, over to see the finance manager. <laughs> <laughs> or something you know like the yeah. service manager comes over and he and he talks to me but you know the guy was polite but the thing is it's just like you know you guys have a program and you have it on your website and i'm looking online people are getting this stuff left and right and then you know it's it's just shady and yeah you, you know what if if it was believable and it was even close or something like that, okay, maybe, sort of. But to get almost like half the value for something, and and I'm sure they get paid or they get discounted, not discounted, they get uh, compensated based on how the systems come in. Right. But, you know, it's it's kind of crappy to to do that to people. And... You know, I, I was wondering about it after the fact where it's like, you know, here I am, you know, with my son. They see that I got, you know, my my boy with me and, you know, maybe the guy took a shot. You know, it's like I'll 
I'll see what I can get away with. He's got his son here. Because he's going to want to walk pocket out something. The difference. Yeah. That's the thing. He's still going to run it through at that 450 and he's going to pocket 200 bucks of your money. Maybe. Yeah. That's probably what he was trying to do. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, it's, it was, it was disappointing. So ultimately I, uh, I brought my consoles back home and now I had everything that I needed to hook it back up to my <laughs> desk. So I've got my <laughs> S which is, it's a lot more convenient for me to play at my desk than it is to play downstairs Yeah, on the 4k TV. But you know, I, I know that GameStop is hurting and I will not shed a tear if they go under. I'm I'm sorry. I know when they go. When it's a matter of time. Yeah. And you know, a while back, even I, I remember looking uh went over there with my son, he had a uh GameStop gift card that he got uh uh as a present. And we went in there and he wound up even buying he bought some uh those uh, Funko Pops. Yeah. Those little figures. And, yep. and, you know, even looking at those, like everything's so expensive in there. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, they were like $12 and everywhere else they're a lot cheaper. They're, you know, they're usually like less than 10 bucks. So I don't know. Game stop, GameStop. big thumbs down, terrible experience. And you know what? I, I'm going to go out of my way to not shop there ever again after this experience. That That's how yep. off put I am. Yeah. I quit. Uh, I quit going there a long time ago. The, the last time I was there was, well, it was interesting when I was looking for my PlayStation Four pro. Uh, I went to, where did I go? I went to Walmart. I think I called Best Buy. They didn't have them. Walmart was out of them. There was a GameStop out in front of there, and I'm like, oh, I guess I could check there. You know, at least there, it's going to be the same price as everywhere else. So I go in there, and they don't have any. And they're like, and it was interesting because they're like, whatever you do, don't bother going to Fred Meyer, which is a grocery store. Right. But there's a Fred Meyer down the street from these people, and it's kind of like a Walmart type of. Sure, it's like, yeah. It's got everything in there. And I was like, oh, that's right. I'm like, I didn't even think about this place, but they have an electronics department in this grocery store. And they're like, well, because they don't have any either. You know, then they're like, we can order you one and blah, blah, blah. And I, I thought it was odd that they're like, well, don't bother going there. I'm like, that just seems weird. So on my way home, I drive past it. So my son and I pulled in there <laughs> and they had racks of them. <laughs> I walked out with one and I was just like, you know, it's just, this is, they knew it. They knew it. And they, they were dumb so to shady. even mention it. Cause I would have never thought to go there. Yeah. Um, and it's just like, yep, these people are shady. They know where they're at and they're telling people not to go there. Cause they're not there. Cause they want you to, you know, I get it, but it's just like, if you don't have them, don't tell me not to go somewhere where you know, they have them. That's just, it's just bad customer service, I think. So, and uh, I did, but I think the last time after that was when I traded my PlayStation in. I did take that in uh, with my my PS3 and PS4, traded them in, and got a Nintendo Switch for free. You know, and that's really the only reason I went there because I'm like, I did the, what you were looking at. Yeah, I'll trade them in to get this because it went it worked, and it actually worked out. I was waiting to go in there, and then tell me the same thing. Well, we're only going to give you this for it, and I actually got more money out of it than I really thought i was gonna get it's like wow i'm surprised so but yeah, and, uh and, that was rare <laughs> <laughs> you you got a good person yeah i think so there. because it was i was kind of surprised and, and you know but, what uh, like in, in my case i wasn't even trying to scam anything you know not even trying to get above i right. was trying to get their advertised deep <laughs> you know yeah. it's like what they had like their their promotion yep. I don't know. that's just one of those things that get you in the store and then they're like well your controller has 0.01 percent of drift so we can't give you the full amount we'll have to take off 80 dollars for that like what <laughs> like yeah. the controller doesn't even cost that much yeah yeah <laughs> but they do that they hook it up to these things and it was just like oh yeah you know anything they could they could rig those to be like oh it's not the optimal 
like whatever. So I hate them. Anyway. All right. <sighs> In with the good air, out with the bad. Yep. So, uh, I'd pull on my earlobe if I could reach it in my <laughs> headset. All Alrighty. Right. So um, on to the community. Uh, you can uh, send us uh, a voicemail by going to thisxboxlife.com and then click on the little voicemail widget on the right-hand side of the screen. Alternatively, you can for a, do a recording, MP3, hopefully something um, a low file size. And then uh, send it over to us at contact at this Xbox life. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions or even uh, just want to talk about something, uh, we'll play you on the show. And uh, we did get an email from the cornbread. And cornbread writes in, hey guys, just wanted to inform you on my current TV hookup. In my bedroom, I use the PS4 for all apps, CBS Now, Hulu, and Amazon. However, all other TVs are Xbox. So the problem is whenever I try to live stream TV on the PlayStation, they are all blocked with those apps. My wife informed me that the PlayStation is blocking all live TV unless you use their TV app with another subscription. Just thought it was kind of shady on PlayStation's part. Any thoughts? <laughs> so do you use these apps, Mark? Because I think you use, don't you use uh, HBO? I use or HBO, to, yeah. Amazon, uh, Netflix, Flex. And I don't need to have any kind of separate, you know, I have an HBO subscriber, so I can use HBO Go. Yeah. Do, um, I do they limit the Amazon, you? I'm on Amazon. I don't have to pay Microsoft any. Well, I, my, I guess my question here is, do you, I don't know if you're required to pay for Xbox Live. Well, he says you have to use Sony's PlayStation TV app that requires another subscription. They don't allow the, it doesn't surprise me. Um, thankfully, Microsoft hasn't done that. Well, I, so what I think he's saying is that when you watch on the one PlayStation, you can't watch that on any Xbox. So it's like, no, 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 no. It's like a single connection. No, he's saying, he's saying that the PlayStation is blocking all live TV unless you use their TV app with another subscription. So I'm saying, I think he's saying you have to use PlayStation has a separate TV app that you have to pay a subscription to them to be able to watch things like Hulu, Amazon, CBS Now, which you have to pay for those as well. So it's like oh, they're trying okay. to double dip. Hmm. That's the way I understand his, what he's saying. If you, if you boot up Xbox, then you can watch those. Sure, yeah. Do you? But he can't live stream TV on the PlayStation. Do you know? Unless he uses the PlayStation app. Do you know if you need live to watch those TV? Things? That's like, what I was originally starting to think of. Is I I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. I I know we talked about this stuff years ago. I don't remember what the current state is. I I thought live. The only thing that live gold really got you was the matchmaking but that has been that's back in the 360 days yeah um i don't know if you're required to have live to use apps i don't think so i think you can use the apps even if you're not a gold subscriber but i'm not gonna lapse my gold to find out <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> not going to yeah. be the guinea pig. But if that's the case, Cornbread, if if Sony is making their customers pay Sony a, a subscription to use another app that already requires a subscription, that's a bunch of crap. I and I would hope Microsoft would, would you know doesn't start doing something like that either because that that's just not right. No, 
Um, I do not agree with that at all. You're already paying a subscription. Why right. pay another one? And you're just connecting to the internet. <laughs> you <know? laughs> yeah, you're you're better off just buying like a Roku or an Amazon yeah. streaming st stick or something. Yeah, yeah, they're Fire Stick. Yeah, because then uh, for those, you know, once you buy the cheap hardware, and they're super cheap now. Often yeah. on sale, you know, you don't have to pay outside of the service. So, alrighty. So maybe uh, maybe maybe trade that PlayStation in and get another Xbox. <laughs> oh wait, where are you gonna trade it? Rob in? knows where you can go. <laughs> no, I know where trade you don't want to go. <laughs> Just sell it on Craigslist. <laughs> Have somebody try to trade a 1987 Monte Carlo for it. <laughs> All right. All right. So well, let's uh, wrap this up. Yeah. So you can find us on Twitter uh, at, at this Xbox life. Uh, you can also go to this Xbox life.com forward slash Twitter to go straight there. Uh, we have a pretty active Facebook group. Uh, that's at this xbox life.com forward slash facebook if you're not a member you can request access you do have to answer uh two simple questions uh because it's a closed group and uh you have to answer those questions in order to get access uh this should be pretty straightforward for anybody listening to the show and anything you post on there will remain within the group and people outside the group uh, do not see posts within the group and uh, now on to the retail releases. Okay, Rob, Rob, Rob. What you got? Got us to tell what you got. What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Give us a list of things that we can buy and play. Okay, Rob, Rob, Rob. Okay, retail releases for November 6th through the 9th. We have on November 6th, Grip Combat Racing. This one is a Game Pass and Xbox One Enhanced game. We also have Ark Survival Evolved Extinction, also Xbox One X Enhanced. Uh, a couple more on the 6th are the Shapeshifting, Shapeshifting Detective, Brawlhalla, The World of, World of Final Fantasy Maxima, on the seventh, we have agents versus villain. Not plural, I guess one villain. Uh, Doodle God, Crime City on the eighth. Ride three on the eighth. This one is Xbox One X enhanced. Noir Chronicles, City of Crime on the ninth. Mechanica on the ninth. And then uh, two more in the ninth are Chasm and Stick. So it looks like we've got uh, a bunch of those 1,000 uh, ID at Xbox games coming out this week. The uh, grip looks like it might be interesting. Yeah, I think I'll probably check that one out. Yeah, since it is part of Game Pass. And this one yep. enters on Tuesday. Yeah, enters on Tuesday. All righty. And then uh, Games with Gold for, oh, um, what do we get? <laughs> I know we have, uh, what, Overcooked continuing? Yep. Right? Oh, no, that, that uh, sorry, that expired on the 31st. Okay. What are November? Yeah. Um, I just downloaded one of them. Oh no, Battlefield One, yeah. Oh yeah, Battlefield yeah, right, One is right. now available. <laughs> I'm I'm pulling that up. Sorry. That's right. And uh, if you were one of the lucky people that uh, got that super crazy Game Pass, right? It was like that. What forty dollar? Uh, oh, uh, the, the Battlefield One season pass. season pass thing. 
Yeah, um, someone was saying that it was more of a trial. So that what? that it expired, that it didn't work after the 31st. But I didn't, I don't, the email I got was, you get, get it. Like, it was, you get all these maps for free. Yeah, yeah, that's what I assumed. And then the game, the Battlefield 1 came out on the 1st. So I downloaded all that. I haven't yet played it to see if the the premium pass still works but i imagine the way i understand is it does but i I, someone did say that it doesn't so to see Hmm. so battlefield one will be um yeah battlefield uh, what is this i'm looking at an article that doesn't quite tell me what the way i want it to so it might be for the whole month of November. Yeah. So Battlefield One, entire month of November, and then Victor Vran is the one that's going through mid month. On the three hundred and sixty, we have Assassin's Creed. That's what they are. I hate these websites because I was just pulling this up and I went to like two or three different websites and all it was was like a link to a video yeah. just you know it's just like clickbait <laughs> yeah and uh it doesn't give you what you want to know that's yeah so it looks like battlefield one uh victor vran and assassin's creed and that would be the original the original assassin's creed yeah yeah with the really annoying horse. <laughs> Do you remember the horse in that game? No, I don't. Where it's like you had to go in between the cities or something. It looked cool. But then you had to play it. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, uh, Victor Vran is actually, uh, again, this is, uh, if you didn't know, it's a uh, Diablo style type of game. So it's free. It's not bad. Well, you know how they say roguelike? You should say Diablo like. Diablo like. It's a Diablo like <laughs> roguelike. <laughs> Alrighty. It, if you make any uh, purchases on the Amazon, make sure to use our affiliate link. It's a great way to support the show. It does not cost you anything extra. Just uh, go to this xboxlife.com forward slash Amazon, or you can find it at the top of our Facebook group in the announcement section. Just click on that link each and every time you make your purchases on Amazon. And uh, we get a teeny tiny little uh, finder's fee for sending you their way. Also, if you're an iTunes user, find the show on there. Give us a five-star review. This is another great way to support the show. Just takes a couple seconds to do this. The more five-star ratings that we get, the more we get boosted in the rankings over there and uh, helps more people find out about the show. Also, we're on Mixer, Twitch, and YouTube. Uh, Like and subscribe. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Isn't that what all the cool kids say on on the streams and stuff? Yeah. And then, uh, as usual, thanks to Learned Your Lesson uh, for the music. And uh, that's all I've got. Anything uh, for you, from you, Mark? Uh, the only thing I've got is just uh, an up, just a reminder. I'm I'm out of here soon. Um, yep. I've got two weeks left, so my last show will be the 18th of November. Yep. So, so we're going to have a special guest that day as well. Okay. Leave. Yep. So. But yeah, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm Mark A.K. Wingman 709, taking off. And I'm Bravo, Sonoma's Priestar. Thanks for listening, everybody. Catch you all next week.